In this video, I'm going to show you how you can recover deleted files, even if they've been deleted from the recycle bin. For this demonstration, I have a USB flash drive. I'm just going to open it up. As you see, there's nothing here. Let's create a new file. Just make it a text document. We'll call it secret. We'll just say the Bitcoin key equals this. All right, better not lose that. Control S to save it, and we'll just open it again to validate. And there's our Bitcoin key. Okay, so now I can highlight this and hit Shift plus Delete, which will bypass the recycle bin and permanently delete the file. Yes. Just for a sanity check, we will look at the recycle bin and there's nothing in the recycle bin. All right, now I'm gonna take this flash drive and I'm gonna plug it into a PC that is already booted into the Ultimate USB version 2.1 for this demonstration. Now, do you need the Ultimate USB version 2.1 in order to recover this file? No. Is it super handy to have and easy to use? Well, is a fat dog heavy? I'll just leave it at that. All right, so this is the Ultimate USB version 2.1. If you guys haven't heard of it, check out this quick promo. If you're not familiar with the Ultimate USB version 2.1, definitely check that out. Link in the description. The product should be tagged here. This USB has everything. Over 50 bootable environments spanning across 13 categories. You've got antivirus and rescue, desktop OS, flyweights, forensics, games where you have a couple of arcades, run emulators and ROMs, hypervisors, miscellaneous tools, multi-tools, win PE repair environments, network tools, pen testing and offensive security for all of you hacker nuts out there, privacy and security featuring tails amongst others if you're down to go browse the dark web, obviously do that at your own risk, but stay anonymous with an operating system like tails included along with others on this USB, server OS, a few different operating systems there and then I include some really nice Windows installation media. All right, check it out. Follow the series. I'm going category by category. I've also got a couple videos kind of highlighting the whole thing at a high level. Back to the show. All right, so there's a ton of ways we could do this. We could crack open a forensic operating system, really dive deep into it, get the details of when it was deleted, all that good stuff, create forensic images. But today, I just need to recover a file, so I'm going to keep it simple and jump into one of the WinPE environments. Once we open that category, we see we have a lot of options for WinPE environments. I'm going to use one of my favorites right now, the OnkTech WinPE V12. Boot it in normal mode, and I'm going to pick the full. These are all pretty lightweight, only 2 gigs of RAM. All right, the WinPE environment is loaded up. And right away, we see on the right, we have PStart, a little dock here with all kinds of categories. Uh, this is an amazing WinPE environment. I'm not going to go over everything today. I've done it in other videos. But just know the OnkTech WinPEs are jam-packed with amazing tools. So I'm going to go into data recovery. And here we have probably a dozen or so options. Uh, I'm familiar with Rakuva, which reminds me of like a Mortal Kombat character name for some reason. Rakuva wins. Fatality. Um, yeah, but I'm going to use Rakuva. I'm going to go next. And you can select the type of file for the demonstration today. I'm just going to say all files. And I'm going to say recover direct to my drive. You can create a disk image. Again, depends on your use case. You may or may not need to do that. But for today's demo, just going to recover the files directly to the disk. And I do know where the files should be located, at least what drive. So I'm going to browse for that. It's going to be this 128 flash drive here. Next. I'm not going to do a deep scan. You can try this if the initial scan does not find your files. I'm going to hit start and boom, there it is. Just that easy. So when it's green, that means the uh, files have not been overwritten. So that means you should be able to recover it very easily. So I'm going to scroll back this way. Check that file. Recover. Now, most of the time, you wouldn't recover to the same drive. It's not a really a big deal, but best practice is recover it to a different drive, and we'll get a little warning about that. But for today's demo, I'm okay with it. I'm going to hit OK. This is, again, where you want to recover it to. And it says one file has been restored. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually see that file. 
And there it is. And we have our Bitcoin key, so we didn't lose our millions and millions of dollars. That's great. All right. So this is the WinPE live environment. Just to validate, I'm going to pop that flash drive out, pop it back into my Windows environment here, and make sure that we can access that file. So I'm popping out the USB. I'm going to switch my video source here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop in the USB drive. Here it is. Make sure we can get to the file. I see it. And voila, there's our Bitcoin key. Don't even try it, guys. Don't try to steal my Bitcoin. No, but seriously, this is an amazing method, utility, whatever you want to call it, to recover deleted files. Recuva is just one of many free utilities out there that can help you recover deleted files. Again, you don't need the Ultimate USB version 2.1 in order to do this. But this is just one example of the power of the Ultimate USB version 2.1. It has so many things on it. I did a whole series on it. Um, I also talked about the fact that if you bring your PC laptop to Best Buy and get Geek Squad to help you, or maybe it's you know your grandparents are doing that or whatever, it's going to run you a minimum a couple hundred bucks for them to recover a file like this. And how long did it take us here? Just you know, a matter of a few minutes. It's not... It's light work, right? It's lightweight. Um, there's nothing to it. Same thing with resetting forgotten passwords for Windows. People get locked out. The USB can do all that. Uh, don't let your friends, family go to Best Buy and pay Geek Squad hundreds of dollars to do something that you can do in a matter of minutes. I hate seeing that. I really do. I mean, I get it. If people don't have anyone else to go to and they don't have the knowledge, if they're locked out, they need their files. It is what it is. But when you can help someone definitely try to help them out. So let me know what you guys think. Have you used Recuva? Are you using other utilities to do this? What are your thoughts on the Ultima USB version 2.1? I think you guys should check it out, bootableusbs.com. All right. Thanks for checking out the quick video. I hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care.